determine all real numbers alpha, such that for every positive integer n, the integer, floor of alpha, plus floor of 2 alpha, plus so on, plus floor of n alpha, is a multiple of n. Note that, the floor of alpha, is the greatest integer less than or equal to alpha. For example, floor of 2.18 is 2. As 2 is the greatest integer less than or equal to, 2.18. Floor of negative 2.3, is negative 3. As negative 3 is the greatest integer less than or equal to, negative 2.3. We let Sn of alpha equal the given algebraic expression. We need to find alpha, such that Sn of alpha is congruent to 0 modulo n. We let alpha equal m plus f. Where m is floor of alpha, which is an integer, and f is the fractional part of alpha, which is greater than or equal to 0, and is less than 1. For example, 2.68, can be written as, 2 plus 0.68. So m equals 2, and f equals 0.68. Then for any k, which is greater than or equal to 1, and less than or equal to n, floor of k alpha, is equal to, floor of k times m plus f. Which can be written as k m, plus floor of k f, as both k and m are integers. So s n of alpha can now be written as, sum from k equals 1 to n, k m plus floor of k f. Which can be written as, m times sum from k equals 1 to n, k plus sum from k equals 1 to n, floor of kf. Sum from k equals 1 to n, equals n times n plus 1 over 2. So sn of alpha equals, m times n times n plus 1 over 2, plus sum from k equals 1 to n, floor of kf. Now we want to find m and f, such that, sn of alpha is congruent to 0 modulo n. We will divide the problem into two cases, f equals 0, or f doesn't equal 0. Case 1, f equals 0. Then sum from k equals 1 to n, floor of kf, equals 0. So sn of alpha equals, m times n times n plus 1 over 2. If m is an even integer, we let m equal 2p, where p is an integer. Then sn of alpha, equals p times n times n plus 1. It's evident that, Sn of alpha is congruent to 0 modulo n, for every positive integer n. Therefore, all even integers satisfy the condition. If m is an odd integer, we let m equal 2p plus 1, where p is an integer. Then Sn of alpha, equals 2p plus 1, times n times n plus 1, over 2. It's evident that, Sn of alpha, is not congruent to 0 modulo n, for every positive even integer n. This is because that, if n equals a positive even integer, then n plus 1 is an odd positive integer. Then 2p plus 1, times n plus 1, is odd, which is not divisible by 2. So sn of alpha, is not congruent to 0 modulo n, for positive even integers n. Therefore, odd integers don't satisfy the condition. Case 2 if f doesn't equal 0. Again, if m is an even integer, we let m equal 2p, where p is an integer. Then alpha is equal to 2p plus f. From 1, we have, sn of alpha, equals p times n times n plus 1, plus sum from k equals 1 to n, floor of kf. Again, it's evident that, p times n times n plus 1, is congruent to 0 modulo n, for every positive integer n. What about sum from k equals 1 to n, floor of kf? Is it congruent to 0 modulo n for every positive integer n? If it is congruent to 0 modulo n for some f, then sn of alpha, is congruent to 0 modulo n for every positive integer n. And then we can conclude that, alpha equals 2p plus f, satisfies the condition. Of course, we need to find the values of f. If it is not congruent to 0 modulo n, then we need proving this. Because f, 2f, and so on, n f, is strictly increasing, and f is greater than 0, and less than 1. So there must exist j, such that j f is greater than or equal to 1, and is less than 2. 
then floor of JF equals 1. Now we let N equal J. Then floor of F equals 0. Floor of 2F equals 0. And so on. Floor of J minus 1 times F equals 0. Therefore, SN of alpha, equals P times N times N plus 1, plus 1. Clearly, it is not congruent to 0 modulo N. Therefore, alpha equals 2P plus F, doesn't satisfy the condition. If M is an odd integer, we let M equal 2P plus 1, where P is an integer. Then alpha is equal to 2P plus 1 plus F. From 1, we have, SN of alpha, equals 2P plus 1, times N times N plus 1, over 2, plus sum from K equals 1 to N, floor of KF. We have showed that, the first part of SN of alpha, 2P plus 1, times N times N plus 1, over 2, is not congruent to 0 modulo N, for positive even integers N. And we have also showed that, the second part of SN of alpha, sum from K equals 1 to N, floor of KF, is not congruent to 0 modulo N, for some positive integers N. However, this is not equivalent to show that, SN of alpha, is not congruent to 0 modulo N, for every positive integer N. Next we need to prove that, when alpha equals 2P plus 1 plus F, SN of alpha, is not congruent to 0 modulo N, for every positive integer N. Or we need to find some P and F, such that SN of alpha, is congruent to 0 modulo N, for every positive integer N. As alpha equals 2P plus 1 plus F, which can be written as, 2P plus 2 minus 1 minus F. Which can be written as, 2 times P plus 1, minus 1 minus F. Now we let Q equal P plus 1, and D equal 1 minus F. Note that, as P is an integer, so Q is an integer. As F is greater than 0, and less than 1. So D is greater than 0, and less than 1. Then alpha equals 2Q minus D. From 2, we have, SN of alpha, equals Q times N times N plus 1, plus sum from K equals 1 to N, floor of negative KD. As shown above, it's evident that, Q times N times N plus 1, is congruent to 0 modulo N, for every positive integer N. What about sum from K equals 1 to N, floor of negative KD? Is it congruent to 0 modulo N, for every positive integer N? If it is congruent to 0 for some D, then SN of alpha, is congruent to 0 modulo N, for every positive integer N. And then we can conclude that, alpha equals 2Q minus D, satisfies the condition. Of course, we need to find the values of D. If it is not congruent to 0 modulo N, then we need proving this. Because, negative D, negative 2D, and so on, negative ND, is strictly decreasing, and D is greater than 0, and less than 1. So there must exist J, such that negative JD is less than negative 1. Then floor of negative JD equals negative 2. Now we let N equal J. Then floor of negative D equals negative 1. Floor of negative 2D equals negative 1. And so on. Floor of negative J minus 1 times D equals negative 1. Therefore, SN of alpha, equals Q times N times N plus 1, minus N minus 1. Clearly, it is not congruent to 0 modulo N. Therefore, when alpha equals 2Q minus D, that is, alpha equals 2P plus 1 plus F, doesn't satisfy the condition. So the even integers are the only solutions.